Today we're going to go through how to configure an Automation Direct GS2 drive for a start stop application. And we're going to be using the wiring diagram that's on page 4-23 of the user manual. And in its case, we have a wire going from our DCM terminal. And it's going to go up to one side of our stop terminal. And then we'll have a jumper from the other side of our stop terminal to our start terminal. And also connected there will be DI3, which continues back over to terminal DI3 here. And then DI1 is connected to the other side of our start terminal. Also our stop terminal is normally closed and our start terminal is normally open. Now, if you have yours wired this way, when you power it up, it's gonna have an EF fault and that's okay. We're gonna take care of that with our configuration. And first parameter we're gonna change is P3.00. So just hit the program button until you see P3.00 and hit enter. And we're gonna change this to a two, which means operation is determined by external terminals, which are these down here, and our keypad stop is disabled. Then we're gonna change 301 to a two, which is gonna make DI1, our start terminal. DI2 actually can be used to reverse the motor now. We're not using that on this one. And then DI3 is our stop terminal. And we're gonna cycle the power. And this time when we turn it on, we don't get that fault. And now we'll give it a test. I'm gonna press the start button. And we hear the fan start, but it didn't actually do anything. And that's because our commanded speed is all the way down at zero. We'll just turn that up. You see it's running on up. We press the stop button and it starts to run back down. A few other parameters that you need to be aware of and probably just verify that yours is close to it. You have your nameplate voltage, which in our case, in our case is 240 volt. And then we have our nameplate amps, which is five. And you want to adjust this to what's the nameplate of your motor. And then we are base 60 Hertz. And our base RPM is 1750. You want to check your nameplate, make sure it doesn't say 1800 or 3600 or something like that. And then if you hit the program button till it comes up with P1.00, then this one is going to determine your stop method. And by default, it's going to ramp to stop. That means it's going to come to a controlled stop over a set amount of time. If you set this to one, it'll make it coast to stop, which is useful in a lot of applications. And then P01, that's gonna be your acceleration time. So right now it's accelerating from zero to full speed in 10 seconds. So yeah, that's probably a little high, but you'll adjust it to what you want. Then you have your decel time, which is P1.02. And right now it's at 30. I've never found an application that needs 30 seconds. So you'll probably wanna bring this way down. But those are the settings that you'll mainly need to know. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.